Hello amazing people, welcome back again to my channel. It's a girl Eugene, what we do on this channel. We create content about Africa, culture, lifestyle and food. You're welcome to my channel. If it's your first time coming across this video, coming across this channel, you're welcome. Please don't make it your last. Turn on the post notifications to notify whenever I post amazing content like this. So let's dive right into the video. On today's video, I'll be talking about a Nigerian guy that came down to Ghana. He was invited by a record label to come that they're going to sign him in under the record label. You know what record label means? If you're a musician, if you're an actor, if you're if you're into the entertainment industry, you have to have you have to be under the record label to be able to function well. And most people they are not really under this record label and they are functioning well. You know, they get so many endorsements and many other things. So this Nigerian lead, this Nigerian guy is a young guy, promising young guy, traveled all the way from Nigeria and he, uh, he got an invite from a Ghanaian record label that he should come to. So he came down to Ghana and what he saw wasn't what he was expecting. So I'll be playing the clips for you guys to listen to and I will react on the video. So guys, watch the video. <laughs> Where are you from? Nigeria. from Nigeria. Delta State. Delta State. from Delta State. Where is it? Where is it? So where you to Ghana? Somebody invited me. Yes. You see how the record did there. And he wants to sign. You are a musician? I'm a musician. Yes. She wants to sign. Yes. So I came to Ghana. I came to meet the guy. He was taking my song for himself. I sent him all my song. He was taking your song for yes, himself? Yes. Yes. Sent almost all the song I've recorded to him. He was taking my song for himself and he wants to give some more. But I had to see that there's nothing to say. I told the guy, now nah, I agree. I stood up to the guy. He kicked me out of his house. He kicked you out of his house? He kicked me. He kicked me out. I've been here now. I've been outside for three days now. It is making me dirty. I'm hungry. I, I'm not eating. I'm no, well, you, don't worry. You will eat. You will eat something. Not, don't worry. You eat some this, this man, this man came all the way from Nigeria to Ghana. I, I've been seeing him in this Nigeria restaurant here. Okay, you will eat something, don't worry. And he said he came to meet one producer that would, that he wants to work together. And the guy was taking a song. Where's your phone? Where are, you, where are your parents? Have you reached them? They stole my phone. They stole your phone? They stole my phone. I've been if I come here tomorrow, will I meet you in this place tomorrow? Hopefully not in Apple to me. Now, yeah, I did. Thank okay. you. Don't worry. Don't okay. no worry. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll come back. This man, this man needs to go to Nigeria. Don't worry. You need this man. Don't worry. He needs to go back to Nigeria. So we need, his, we need help. Please help him, man. Eh? If you know him, please, to, please pass through. What's your name again? Clinton. Clinton. What about your, your music name? You got? Citro. Huh? Citro. 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 Only don't wait. Let me talk your name again. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow I'll see you. Eh? Wow. See, eh? in this life, no matter what you're doing, try to have this human, as in like this humane nature, you know? See, this young man traveled all the way from Nigeria to Ghana with the expectation that he is going to be signed under a record label. And he went to that, he went, he traveled from Nigeria to Ghana, he went to Ghana, he met with the director. And this record label decided that what is best for them is to start taking this young man's music, converting the music to themselves. They confiscated his music. And this young man stood up against what they were doing. And the next thing they did is that they kicked him out. They kicked him out of the house. They asked him to go. After taking his music, this is this young man's words. This is what he, he has worked for. He has written this song. To so write a song is not easy. Just like writing a script for a movie. It is something you just sit down, strain your brain, you know, crack your brain, Think of the kind of lyrics to put together to form a good, to make a good song. That is what this young man did. And I think before he would come to Ghana, they have seen a song, maybe one of the songs sang, and they have listened to it, and they saw that this young man has a good lyrics, and they invited him over to a foreign land 
a place he knew nobody. Ghana is a place, he doesn't have a family there, his family is not there, his friends are not there. It is just the, the a record label that invited him with assurance that, oh, when you come, we are going to make you a good act, uh, artist. We are going to make you blow like David Doe's and, and the rest. We make, we're going to make you like Shatawale. You know, we're going to make you like we promise. But this young man came with the expectation of becoming a musician, but he came there, what he saw wasn't what he expected. He was, they took his music, they took everything away from him and they asked him to leave the house. Most times I wonder how we Africans behave to ourselves. You come to the internet today, you say that, oh, Nigerians are doing this, Nigerians are doing that. But most Africans, we have this heart that we don't have as, we don't accommodate ourselves. I don't want to mention that uh, word because of YouTube guideline. We have this heart that we, this weak heart, you know, that when we see people, we, our mindset is to, Take everything that belongs to them. Instead of this record label to assist this young man to grow, instead they decided to take everything that belongs to this young man, to take his sweat, his hard work away from him. This is what we keep saying on the internet that, oh, people should learn, Africans should learn to embrace themselves, Africans should learn to you know, love one another. We should have those thing at the back of our mind that we are Africans that oh we should not be able to hurt ourselves we shouldn't inflict pain on ourselves because we have those blood African blood running through our veins this young man came to Ghana with high hope that oh if I come to Ghana I'm going to make my parents proud if I make this money I'll go back to my country and make my parents proud only God knows where this young man is coming from Maybe coming from the a family that is not capable enough to take care of him, but he decided to make a name for himself by becoming a musician and having this trust on this record label that oh, when I get to Ghana, I am going to sing, I'm going to become popular, even though you're not so popular, but at least your songs are on boom play, people are streaming it, and you are making your money. Your songs are on YouTube, people are watching it, and you're making your money. You know, and this young man got there. All he got was, you know, being thrown out, and his music was collected, and he was thrown out to the streets. These are all the things we keep on saying. This is a Nigerian guy thrown out in the streets, and once he starts doing things that are not good, once he starts taking things that doesn't belong to him, they will arrest him and tag him that all Nigerians in this country are doing this. They begin to say all oh, Nigerians in this particular country are not are not loyal. All Nigerians in this country are thieves. All Nigerians in this country are, you know, they begin to tag them different kind of names. These are the things that happen. When you throw someone out to the streets, what do you expect them to do? And look at this young man, a good Samaritan on the streets, saw this young man, said he has been seeing him very close to a, a Nigerian restaurant in Ghana. And imagine this Nigerian restaurant that they seen this guy staying close to their restaurant and they could not even help. Why are we Africans like this? This good Samaritan saw this young guy. I haven't seen him here for so many days. What are you doing here? You have to call him and make a video of it. And he said he has been here, that he came all the way from Nigeria to Ghana because they called Labour asked him to come. They said they can sign him in because his music are good. And after everything, they threw him out on the street. That he has been out on the street without eating for three days. And you can see from his voice, his action, that this guy is dying slowly. He is not getting himself. You can see from his action that he is not getting himself. He is not himself anymore. He just wants to eat at that point. All he wants at that point was just to eat. There are people that, don't, that, that oh, once they could not bear hunger, they will go into the streets and start committing so many crimes. This young man was jet jelly. He was in his country, and this record label decided to drag his feet out of his country and bring him to Ghana because of their selfish interest, because of what they want to get from this guy. Because they believe this guy is not a Ghanaian. He doesn't know his way about in Ghana. He doesn't know anybody in Ghana. They decided to take advantage of the facts of that fact that he doesn't know anybody in Ghana.
they decided to to use him and i believe this record label might have been using a song and have signed another artist and used this particular boy's song for that artist and they decided to change the lyrics or change the tone of the of the song this is what we keep saying there are people that will send messages to people across in nigeria who will come to nigeria there is a job in ghana come they will come to ghana they'll be used for so many things that are not good they'll be used to do some illegal things you know they'll come to the ghana with high hope that oh i have a job thinking they'll come to ghana and get this job and you know get money and feed themselves feed yourselves help your families but when when they come to ghana what they are seeing is not what they expected this is the same thing with this young man now he's in ghana he has no help he has no money to go back to his country there is no place he can get job because he knew nobody in ghana he doesn't know anybody in ghana it's just like a strange place to him and you've been in a country you've not been there they only gave you direction okay take this particular vehicle come down here we'll come pick you up once they pick him up, they pick him up directly to the house. Same thing happened. I shared a video on my channel about some group of Nigerians that will come. They will invite these young guys to Ghana. They will take them into the room and up in that room. And they will be working, doing some cyber crimes. I'm not in support of all those things. Once you see all those things as a content creator, try to, you know, counter it. I've seen so many content creators on this street of YouTube since... A thing like that and i've seen so many of them supporting it so when this young guy decided to come to ghana and he threw him out of the street what do you expect him to do these are the kind of people you see committing atrocities committing bad things in ghana because they have no other means of earning what they came to ghana to do is not what they saw it's not what they were being asked to do and the next thing they do is to fall back to activities you understand so if you're a young guy before coming try to ask questions scrutinize ask questions you know make your research make your findings from nigeria to ghana is not far it's something you can come in a day And once you're coming to a particular country, make it, this, this is the reason why you have the internet. Make your research. Google is there. Google, make your research about it, the people that called you to come. If it is an agency that called you, make your research. You don't come to Ghana and become a nuisance to, to Ghanaians or to the society. So you don't come to Ghana and become a mess in the society. And you don't come to Ghana as a Nigerian and begin to give the Nigerians that are there bad names. Because you feel, oh, you don't have any other means to, to make money. You decided to do some illegal things. Thank God this young man was even there quietly. He did not even make any move to start engaging himself in some any bad things. He was just there. And this good Samaritan, God bless the man, saw him and decided to help him. Putting out that video online, his family, they will see it. They will see it and they begin to send messages across to the person that made the video. Please, it's my brother. Please let him come back to the country. Thank God for people that have good, this good heart to help one another. If that man didn't see that young boy where he is in that Nigerian restaurant and decides to make a video and, and give him food to eat, what would be of that young man?